Greetings! Josh's guests today are Richard and Anastasia Elfman. Take it away, Josh! Welcome, folks. You've arrived at the intersection of horror movie fandom and cannabis culture. But don't worry, you don't have to smoke or vape to be a chronic horror fan. Just sit back and relax with whatever makes you happy. Get lit. Horror is more than just a genre of cinema. It's a lifestyle that includes art, music, dance, and fashion. And our guests today, Richard and Anastasia Elfman, excel in all of these arenas. So join me in welcoming them to Chronic Horror. <laughs> What's up? Richard and Anastasia Elfman. Welcome to Chronic Horror! <laughs> Richard Elfman, you are the founder of the Mystic Knights of the Oingo Boingo, writer-director of the cult horror classic The Forbidden Zone, and you recently wrapped production on I Always Get the Hipsters, Order Hipsters, Gangsters, Aliens, and Geeks. Hipsters, Gangsters, Aliens, and Geeks. Anastasia Elfman, you are a burlesque dancer. You're a scream queen. You recently appeared in Karma is a Bitch, which screened at Etheria Film Nights. And I'm just delighted to have you both on the show. Welcome. Glad to be yeah. here, Josh. Fantastic. So Richard, tell us a little bit about the film you just wrapped up. Well, it's a very poignant story of, of an out of work actor that wakes up with the key to the universe stuck up his ass mm. and gets thrust into a great intergalactic war between the clowns and the aliens. Yeah, that happened to me with once. With music driven by Danny Elfman with help with Ego Plum. Excellent. And Anastasia, you're in the movie? I am. She did like five parts, <laughs> every, everything from a carny slut to a nun. Nice. So there's a little bit of range. Yeah, you're showing the whole spectrum there. Oh, I'm choreographed. Fantastic. Yeah. The dance in the cabaret. I can't wait to check it out. So listen, I'm going to ask you guys a few questions now, kind of get to know your personalities, after which I'm going to prescribe a strain of cannabis, a method of smoking, and we're going to take in a little film, all right? Sound good to you? Sounds good. All right. So sadly, the world is coming to an end, but you two have been selected to throw the final circus of the world. What acts do you pull in to perform? Actually, just a typical thing we do once a month. We have a thing called the barbecue bacchanals. It's kind of an underground cabaret. I cook, we drink, she performs. Uh, we have a band, Mambo Diabolico, that yes. performs. And we bring in different artists. So we would just do another one of our dinner parties. Anastasia, I have it on good authority that you're a big Twin Peaks fan. Which character do you identify with the most? Oh my gosh. Uh... Probably, I guess, leaning towards like Laura Palmer. And be, that's because? Uh, just the fun life that she led right before, you know, her untimely death. Mm, tragic figure. <laughs> she was a wild one, though. She, she leads to log ladies sometimes, though. Oh, so yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I have, you know, good authority. If you were trying to sell yourselves on Craigslist, what would the ad read? Well, for me, a cross between Brad Pitt and Bozo the Clown. Oh, right. And how much would you try to sell yourself for? Got as much as I could, at least $10. There you go. <laughs> at least. Anastasia, same question. Probably bizarre, gorgeous um, screamer, uh, $2. Oh my God, you guys are selling yourselves so short. Fantastic. So there are two primary kinds of cannabis. You got the sativa and you got the indica. And then you have hybrids. Well, this is the first time we've had two guests on the show. We've got Anastasia and we've got Richard. So we thought it would be appropriate to have a hybrid. A little of both. Best of both worlds. So uh, when I'm looking to imbibe, I have a little friend who helps me out. I like to call on Miss Thang. Miss Thang, you awake? <sighs> Say uh, hello to our guests, Richard and Anastasia Elfman. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, Miss Thing, I was thinking some of that Wi-Fi cake that smelled so delicious. Do you have any of that? I'm scared. <laughs> yes, indeed. We got the Wi-Fi cake from Medicine of the Angels in Los Angeles. Miss Thing, bring out our nicest glass pipe for Richard and Anastasia. 
Hey, hey, over here. I'm supposed to distract you while Josh and the Elfmans do the thing that we can't legally show you them doing. Not that thing, sicko. The other thing. So, guys, <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Relaxed. Yeah? Relaxed. Um, when you sit down to watch a movie lit, there's really one more thing that's essential. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Talking about munchies. Oh. oh. So not only do we curate oh. excellent movies to watch on Chronic Horror, we also tailor a culinary experience to the show and for our guests. So uh, let's see what Casey, the homicidal homemaker, has cooked up for us, yeah? Sure. Yes. I'm awesome. hungry. <laughs> Josh, I am whipping up some bloody brain beet hummus for you. I know that's a mouthful to say, but it's a delicious mouthful. This recipe is super inexpensive and super easy to make, and it's perfect for vegans and those on a gluten-free diet. For this recipe, you'll need garbanzo beans, cooked sliced beets, lime juice, olive oil, tahini, chopped garlic, salt, pepper, and water. So start off by combining the garbanzo beans and beets in a blender. Then add in the lime juice, olive oil, tahini, garlic, salt, and pepper. And then you'll need to add in one to three tablespoons of water just to get it to blend smoothly. And see, I was not kidding when I said this was quick and easy. You just need to whirl everything in a blender, pour it into a serving dish, and you're good to go. One of my favorite ways to serve this is in a dish that either looks like a skull or a zombie head. Just add the hummus to a piping bag and pipe it into a brain shape. Let's welcome Casey, the homicidal homemaker. Casey. Hi guys. That's a new one. <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Well this time I made something a little on the healthier side. I know that usually I make things full of sugar and butter and all kinds of uh, delicious goodness that's not very good for you. So this time I did a bloody brain beet hummus. And I did this because sometimes it's nice just to have a healthier option when you have the munchies. Sometimes you just don't want super sweet or super cheesy things. Why don't you let the uh, guests uh, help themselves first? So I have some rainbow carrots because I think those are so fun. That that does look pretty disgusting brainy. I mean, yeah. it, <laughs> I mean, it's almost like, I'm like, do I, what is that grossness? I mean, I love hummus, but it, it really looks disgusting. Well, I really, I, I, I love that. I take that as a compliment, oh, I by the way. a compliment. Because I'm the, probably the only person that wants their food to look as disgusting as possible. And this is perfect for Halloween parties because you don't have to put a lot of effort forward. Um, you just have to take a piping bag and pipe it in the shape of a brain. That's, that's, that's really good, good Casey. Oh, fine. Yeah, that don't made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why they call them the munchies. And we're gonna keep this as we go into a film. Oh. And I'll leave that with you guys. And Come I to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> So the movie I've picked for you guys is Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. There are some really interesting theories about what the film is actually about. So I'm excited to give it a watch with you guys. You know, now that we're lit, maybe we'll notice some things about it that we didn't notice the first time around. And uh, let's just jump into it. You guys ready? Ready. Oh yeah. Let's do it. One of the things I really like about this film is its opening scene. It's brutal. Um, spoiler alert, they kill a kid. Uh, that takes balls. You know, uh, how many horror movies actually show a kid getting killed? And this kid is about to not just be killed, but you know, it, it might tie into the title of the movie is all I'm saying, so I'm giving it a watch here.
This is what I'm talking about. A kid that was just got thrown off a two-story landing onto a stone floor. I mean, that, that's not a happy thing to have seen. And then, uh -oh. as if that wasn't fucked up enough. Dragged him to hell. That's what I'm saying. All that before the credits. So <laughs> it, it's just such a brutal way to begin a movie. <laughs> so do you recognize the car? What is that? Uh... That's the Evil Dead car. That Are that car me? is in every Sam Raimi movie. Even Spider-Man. I didn't realize that. He did um, this movie that takes place in the Old West, The Quick and the Dead, and there's a rumor that he built one of the stagecoaches around the car, ha, just ha. so he could say <laughs> that ha, the ha. Evil Dead car is in the movie. Please listen to me. There's nothing coming from you. How do I get rid of this? I welcome. Seances, yay or nay? Okay, tell them what you feel about ghosts, and I'll tell them what I feel about ghosts. What do you... Uh, I'm scared of ghosts, yeah. I believe in them, and I, you know, I'll leave them alone. I have my own way of exercising places for friends. Oh yeah, how do you do it? Yeah, yeah is uh, I blow a bunch of cigar smoke and then stamp my feet going, get the fuck out of here! And it works. Yeah, it works. Fantastic, totally I'll let works. you know if yeah, I need yeah. your services. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you stomp and smoke and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm not. <laughs> So Richard, if Anastasia was being dragged to hell, would you jump in with her? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's right. Oh. So before I let you go, and to thank you guys for being here, I've got a selection of our Dread Presents DVDs to uh, leave you guys with. Well, hey, which we'll watch tonight. Excellent. <laughs> with or without getting high? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now, Captain. That's right. And I keep going all the time. So enjoy these. I've got a few more you can choose from. And uh, it's just been fantastic having you guys on the show. I can't thank you enough. What fun, man. So much fun. How wild. Fantastic. <laughs> we do hope you got your dose of zombies and ghosts. Tune in next time for more chronic horror. Good night.